My fourth overview video on the Run On Less event is a profile of Performance Team. They're a hired gun in the logistics trucking industry for companies who want a third-party service provider to help them out. They run electric tractors to haul trailers on short regional routes, operating out of a warehouse in Commerce, California that is owned by Prologis. They're a hired gun in the commercial real estate business, so if you need a warehouse but don't have the time or want to spend the money, you give them a call. This creates interesting challenges and opportunities. Performance Team Logistics currently has 38 electric trucks in operation and another 98 coming by the end of the year. They want to utilize Prologis warehouse facilities, but they'll need to offer EV charging. So a logistics company and a warehousing company need to quickly become experts on operating and charging electric trucks. What kind of trucks? Glad you ask. Volvo makes the VNR, which is a popular regional hauling class eight tractor. Like Freightliner, they now also offer an electric version of this popular diesel truck. A bit of a tease here, the next video after this will feature yet another brand of truck, so hit that like and subscribe button to make sure you get that video. Volvo makes their VNRs in Virginia. It offers more configurations than the Freightliner. You can get a straight truck where a cargo box or something else can be added to the back. You can get it as a 4x2 tractor that can be used to haul lighter trailers. It comes with the standard range battery pack. There are also 6x2 and 6x4 models. The 6x2 has only one axle or one set of wheels at the rear driven, while the 6x4 is a tandem where both rear axles are driven. Maximum horsepower of the Volvo is similar to the Freightliner, but the powertrain configuration is very different. Freightliner offers two E-axles where an electric motor is mounted to the differential of each rear axle. With this, there is no drive shaft. Volvo also uses two electric motors, but they combine their output into a two-speed transmission that goes through drive shaft to the rear axles. Volvo's approach makes it very much like a direct swap of a diesel engine. It's rare for electric vehicles to have a multi-gear transmission, but when they do, like Volvo, it's typically just a two-speed, not a 10 to 18 speed like a diesel truck. That's because electric motors have a flat torque curve. They don't need to rev up. Two-speed provides the Volvo truck with two operating modes, a low speed for smooth, powerful starts and a high speed for efficiency, but it does come with some added complexity, cost and friction losses to the drivetrain. Volvo trucks can be configured either as a Gen 1 standard range or a Gen 2 long range. They operate both types at performance team. The long range has a six battery module, good up to 275 miles, although they said the effective range was somewhere around 200 to 220 miles. These trucks charge overnight to be ready for work the next day. The standard range trucks have two fewer battery modules and the range is about 175 miles. Effectively, they said that was about 120 miles. These trucks charge overnight and during the day. It's what they called opportunity charging. When the trucks come back to the warehouse, they get a 30 to 60 minute blast of energy before headed out on their next run. Volvos with six modules have a bigger total battery with more range than the Freightliner, but nowhere near as big as the Tesla Semi. Stated another way, Freightliner and Volvo trucks come in different configurations, allowing fleet managers to buy just enough truck for short and medium distance routes. While Tesla said, hold my beer, and wants to prove that battery electric tractors can handle much longer routes. Keep in mind that having a bigger battery with more range is nice, but it adds cost, and trucks have a combined weight limit, typically around 82,000 pounds for this category, so if your truck has a bigger battery, it will weigh more, so you need to carry less cargo in the trailer to make up for it. That's why established truck manufacturers offer so many different combinations. They want you to be able to specify the truck you need to do the job at hand, not over-specify it. The Volvo charges about as fast as the Freightliner. Both are nowhere near as fast as the show-off Tesla, Volvo uses one CCS port to charge. 
if you recall, Freightliner has a dual port set up and the Tesla has their mega charger plug, which as of right now is a proprietary standard. Now let's talk about those chargers. Prologis, the warehouse owner and operator, has installed two different types of hardware on site. The first is an ABB high power Gen 3 dispenser rated at 150 kilowatts. Electrify America uses these at some of its locations, but keep in mind that they use four different suppliers that all have that stylish green opening at the top. So you may have seen this particular model or not. It's a dispenser because it gets fed by a high powered cabinet that is located nearby. This model dispenser has a, both a CCS1 and a Chatamo plug. That's because that's just the way they make it. No real reason to have a Chatamo plug for these trucks. But if you're a Nissan Leaf owner working there, maybe you can sneak over at lunch to get some free electrons. The other hardware they have is also from ABB. It's their Terra 184 model. It's an all-in-one design, not a separate cabinet and dispenser setup. Each has two CCS plugs that can be used simultaneously. That's two separate ports. If only one plug is being used, it can output the maximum 180 kilowatts. When both plugs are used, the power is shared between the two trucks. None of their equipment can touch the Tesla mega chargers installed at Pepsi. On occasion, it would be good to have a few more powerful chargers on site. I'm sure they have plans for this. To save money, operations like this want to avoid high-powered charging during the day and stretch out their trucks to the end of the day when they can sit at their depot charging overnight at cheaper rates. So there you have it. Performance Team Logistics working out of a Prologis warehouse running Volvo VNR electric trucks. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at their operations. Give it a like and consider subscribing. Thank you for watching.